started. So we had a hen that went broody a while ago. So my wife decided to just let her sit on eggs. And why don't you tell us about it? Hi, I just came to check on them. There's a whole bunch of eggs. I'm not even sure which ones are supposed to be under her anymore, even though I marked them, but the numbers have worn off. But while I was looking to check the eggs, there's a chick. It's tiny. Bring it here. But she's a couple days old, or she's dried up. Well, I guess still, it was today. Well, I did come still. down yesterday. She's really cute. Go get Charlie. Now, what is she eating and stuff? I don't know. She just hatched today because oh she wasn't so cute. here yesterday, and I got eggs yesterday. Let me see, <laughs> hold her up. I want to see if I can see her little face. Somebody has to go get Charlie. Well, well he'll see it. Oh, it's so cute. So you think it, you really think it hatched today? Yeah, I came down yesterday and got eggs. <laughs> well, it could have hatched after. Well, but in the last 24 hours. So let's go. Not much light in here. Let's... Do you know this is the only one? Yeah. Because I got some other eggs I'm sitting here, here and I had the eggs in my lap. No, no, no. This, right, so this is their some... Can you move her a little bit so we can see all the eggs? Uh -huh. So there she is. Sitting on she her was eggs. sitting on six. One hatched. Mama, Let's see the, let me said, see the part that hatched. said there's like three mamas, bro. That's pretty cool. And like three mamas, bro. That laid the eggs. Oh, okay. But she's going to be the mama of the chicken. What kind of hen is she? She is, um, I think, an Easter egger. I'm sorry, an olive egger. If not, she's an Easter egger. And how long? One of the let me two. see the baby again. And how long has she been sitting on the eggs? She's been sitting on this one for about 19 <laughs> days. So that's a little early. Yes, the chick's about two days earlier than I expected. Does it seem healthy? Yeah. And it just hatched today because I was down here yesterday. Eat this? No, we're gonna have to. Do you want to separate them? No, for now she can sit on her. She was just. You. She under just her. sits underneath her. She huh? was. And so I. Oh, was, look, she like hunkered down. Yeah. So I was collecting other eggs. She thinks it's her mama. And found a chick. Mama thinks it's her mama. Well, yeah. for all intents and purposes, it is. It might be her mama. It is. She. So well, she the... laid them, but they have, but they kind of have other moms. Where's the other? Oh, there's the other rooster. So here's our rooster. Roosters. Dad, where's the other rooster? Where's <laughs> <laughs> our other rooster? <laughs> the reason why we let them, we let that one broody hen sit on the eggs, is we lost a whole bunch of hens, maybe about a month ago, yeah. to a fox attack. <laughs> My wife said that yard looked like a pillow factory, so it wasn't good. So since then, we've been keeping them all penned up, which is all right. They have a good size run. They do fine. Um, but so anyway, we wanted some more birds. So this oh, hen went fruity, and we figured, well, we'll just let her go. Charlie, Charlie you want to see the chick? It hatched. So we'll do a quick, quick update on the birds here. On the other, on the outside of the coop here, you see our, one of our guineas. We got some free-range guineas that we had for a while. We had four or five of them, and they pretty much just left us. They were gone for weeks, really. And all of a sudden today, one of them just kind of showed back up. It's one of the males, uh, so I don't really know where the rest of them are. They've just been off free-ranging, living wild, doing whatever they do. Um, but if you saw, we had three little baby chicks hatch, a broody hen hatched them for us, and we decided just to kind of let the, let the chickens do their thing. Let me get that to focus, there we go. So there's, that's the mama, and then there's, the, if you can see them, there's the three little ones, and she's really watching out for them, and teaching them how to eat, and how to drink, and how to peck for food. And they just follow her around. Although they can't hop back up into the coop. So I don't know, maybe we'll build a little ramp or something for them. But she's a mother hen, all right. 
They're cuties too. You can hear them chirping. It's neat, we've hatched them with an incubator before and that was a fun experience. But watching the mama just do it the way they were designed to do is really neat. There they are. And of course, here's Amber, our mama. She got four little kittens running around here. She's a good mama taking care of things. She's staring. Oh, there's Tiger back in there. Tiger. Dear. She's a sweet cat. It's kind of neat to have outdoor cats because to watch them in kind of in their environment, you know, they hunt and they're stealthy and quiet, but still really sweet. Oh, yeah. There's a that's Stormy. Her and Amber are sisters. So there's Amber, and there's Stormy, and uh, both of them had kittens about a week apart. They each had four, and uh, the kittens are doing great. They they get along well with Tiger, but I think it's kind of a love hate relationship. I don't know if you can see this, but when the mama sits down, the little ones, they just burrow underneath of her. It's almost like a possum or something, you know, where the babies like climb into the pouch. She makes a little pouch underneath her and then the babies just, see that? They just scoot right under there. So they're all three under her. You can't see them. She's a good mama.